I threw that magazine down on the coffee table and thought, I'm going to kill that guy. You hear me? The single unwavering drive in Joseph Paul Franklin, murder. His target, Larry Flint, infamous pornographer, founder and publisher of Hustler magazine, which in 1977 featured this controversial photo spread. And I saw that interracial couple that he had photographed there having sex, you know, and it just made me sick. Franklin, his hair wild, his gaze unwavering, unblinkingly recalled from death row his murderous spree, driven by a hate for Jews, blacks, and any whites associated with them. He was a sniper, carrying his rifle and scope in guitar cases. In St. Louis, he staked out a synagogue and gunned down Gerald Gordon. In Madison, Wisconsin, a young interracial couple. In Salt Lake City, Franklin killed two young black men who were jogging with white female friends. In Cincinnati, Ohio, children were not spared, 13 and 14-year-old cousins. Even civil rights leader Vernon Jordan shot with Franklin's sniper rifle, but survived. Larry Flint would be a trophy killing for the white supremacist. So you hunted him down? Yeah, I was, I was hunting him down. Yeah, I ain't gonna deny that. <laughs> you remember the shots ringing out? Yes. Felt just sort of like a hot poker hitting me in my stomach. Flint will never forget March 6, 1978, Banning as he walked to a song. courthouse where he was facing obscenity problem. charges. The shots, like most of Franklin's targets, came from a distance. Flint would barely survive the two bullets that struck him. He would never walk again. By the time police finally arrested Franklin in September 1980, at least 22 people were dead. Days away from his execution, Franklin spoke to me from death row about his three-year killing spree. Three years, just the same length of time Jesus was on his mission from the time he was 30 until he was 33. And what was your mission? Well, to try to get a race war started. Franklin showed me a tattoo. Faded with time, you can still make out that it's the Grim Reaper. Do you think you're a hero to those hate groups? Well, that's what they tell me, you know. <laughs> well, I'd rather people like me than not like me, just like anybody else, you know what I mean? I'd rather, I'd rather be loved than hated, you know? Even if they are the Nazi party and other hate groups. Yeah, and they're not the only ones who love me, though. Do you feel any hate looking at me? Looking at you? No, of course. Huh? I'm not white. Yeah, I know, but you're, uh, yeah, I'm, I have no feeling whatsoever, you know, hatred toward you. Especially not a female, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you shot plenty of women. Yeah, I know, I know, that's true. You, you got a point. Franklin says he's no longer a racist, that he was wrong, and he's sorry for his crimes. He now wants mercy, fighting his upcoming execution any way he can. There is almost no one in his corner, except... If you could stop it, would you stop it? Oh, yes. I would say put him in prison for the rest of his life. Why? Principle. He's against the death penalty. Amazingly, Flint has filed a lawsuit trying to stop his own shooter's death. But don't mistake all this for mercy. Is that how you see this, that you're forgiving him at all? I'm not showing him anything. If it wasn't Joseph Paul Franklin and it was some other person who shot me, my feelings would be the same. And what does Franklin think about the man he tried to kill but has never met and is now fighting for his life? My old pal Larry. Your old pal Larry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not like, sure he would refer to you as your old pal. I like Larry. But it appears even Flint's efforts won't stop what awaits Franklin. Most people out there, I mean, they're heading toward a burning hell and they don't know it. Do you think something lies for you on the other side after November 20th? Yeah, but it isn't a burning hell, though, because I'm a servant of the Lord, though. I think uh, we're about out of time. Well, let's not say that. You just... <laughs> Time is important to you now, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it has been for a long time, you know. And maybe we'll meet again sometime. King Law joins me now. I mean, it's just a really fascinating interview that, that you did there. Did, did he really seem sorry about his killing sprees? Because he didn't seem it in that interview. Yeah, it wasn't really apparent. He would say the words, but certainly he didn't, he didn't show it. Now, he's had 30 years to think about it, but certainly that sort of sadness wasn't apparent visibly on his face. Anderson. And I know you have some news out of the governor's office regarding the execution. What, what have you heard? 
Uh, what we have heard from the governor's office this evening, in fact, is that request for clemency by Franklin and his attorneys that has now officially been denied. There is another option that Franklin is seeking. It's through the courts. The state Supreme Court in Missouri so far has uh, denied the motion for a stay. He has filed with the federal district court. But as of this airing, Anderson, right now, nothing is stopping November 20th. He is scheduled to be executed at 12.01.